Okay. I just recorded once and then this is my second time recording now. My opponent didn't play in the first recording. Okay, so we have Sicilian. Let's play knight f3. Open Sicilian. No, okay. So we're having a closed. It's alright. Castle queen side. F3, G4. I guess I'll have to take and then play bishop d4. I don't play Sicilians, so I really don't know. Why don't I play bishop <laughs> bishop c5? D bishop c5 d5. You can take twice. It's like a cool move, this. My queen. Bishop h6, I, I forgot about bishop h6. Yeah, that's why you need to play f3, I guess. But my opponent doesn't play it. So what I can do is I can take I pick I can play queen d6. D6, queen f5, f3, h3, queen d6, queen d bishop h6, king, c, king b1. I think I'm, I think I'm doing well. I'll pre-move it. Ah, uh, maybe rook e8, my opponent's idea, followed by bishop f8. I want to play f3 just so that my bishop has more space to move. Like f3, bishop z4, rook d1. And if f3, I can. The e4 pawn is always protected after knight f6. So I'll go with that. No. f3, bishop h6, king b1, and knight, e th knight e3. So h3 is best. I'm expecting yes, knight f3, knight f6, sorry. I can play bishop c4, activating the bishop. Or I can take, take, and then take the, the rook, bishop f8, rook f6, bishop f6, and bishop f8. Bishop c4. The knight is quite a problem. Not really a problem, but I feel like in the future it will be a problem. I'm taking too much time though. But I will ignore it. I'll play bishop c4. I can't waste any more time. If knight e8, I always can play. I can play just rook d7, attack the bishop, and attack the rook. Win an exchange. I'll go back. Couldn't go back. I could go back to d2, but then I'll have double pawns because I'll have to play bishops. Mission piano. I got a quite a strong bishop. Okay. F3 cementing. Now I want to double up. Knight a4, knight c5. I have a good position. I limit the bishop squares. Feels good. Bishop, I have to go back here. I go here. Mm hmm. I have a lot of weaknesses unfortunately yeah, yeah. I thought this might happen my idea is rook d6 next c3 king c3 king c2 maybe even king d2 king e3 
I could throw in a check, but the check does nothing. 92. Now the check wins a pawn. If it was on the other side on the e file, it would be protecting the pawn. And I'll take it, I'll go back. Where can I go? I can go here, here, here. I can go everywhere. I'll, I'll go back to. I was never on d3, but I'll go to d3. Now I can push g4 because I'm protecting the f4 square. And I can push. I can push f4. I'll come low on time. f4, e5. Get a nice outpost for my, my knight. Let's go. If you don't take, I take, and then I place my knight on e5. I have a good position. I'll take. I'll take the. Pick up and exchange as well. Okay, I'll take the pawn. And I'll give you a fork as well. Right here. I'm up a piece. Not a piece in exchange, and then I can just promote this pawn. GG's. That was a very instructional game. I was higher rated, about 120 points, 125 roughly. So, you could see the skill difference, but it was very instructional as well. Thank you for watching.